Hello everyone. I'm Lawrence McClellan. I really felt the need to have a discussion about a lot of the things that I've been realizing have been going on. And what I'd like to say that I feel like lately people are, are being judged solely, you know, based on the fact of who they date. And like today, you know, I've been noticing I was in this little group, you know, they, it, these people were mainly from London. And uh, I really was feeling the group because this dude, you know, he pretty much just lets people do whatever they want to do, post and talk about whatever they want to talk about. But what I would notice though, like I change my profile picture on Facebook all the time because I get bored with it, you know. And uh, it's not unlike me to sometimes put my kid on there or put a slogan on there or a picture of me, and sometimes I put my wife on there. Well, sure enough, as soon as I put my wife on there who happens to be white, some of the same people at first that I was cool with in this group, and all of a sudden they start acting a lot differently. And it starts off real subtle. This is what's so weird about these groups. That's why I always try to stay away from predominant black groups because if they're not talking about business or it's not spiritual, nine times out of ten it's going to be a white bashing is what I call it. And it's like, you know, uh, you see these little poems or different stories where first people are basically uh, on the sly tip saying that black women are somehow better than white women. Because obviously, you know, they got white people in the group, so that of course they don't want to offend them. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you got white people in the group, so why even go there to start with? So a cat like me comes in there who's been dating white women and all other kind of races since the 80s. And, you know, you come in there and it's like you speak against the things that you know are not right, whether it be white or black. And I'm a sellout. I become this uh, threat. I become this person that's not sympathetic about my people when they don't even know me to start with. They don't know that I was born in probably one of the most racist places you could ever live, which is Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, the things that went on down there, you know, there were some good times, but the race relations are awful down there because so many people, white and black, are still living in the time of what happened 50 and 60 years ago. A lot of fucked up shit happened. And yes, there's a thousand reasons why I could sit up here and still hate white people. But there's also a thousand reasons why I really don't have a right to. Our, some of our black people have been lied to. You know, uh, the story you were first told about how you got to America and how you were slave, you haven't been given the whole truth. Uh, and beyond all that, I'm not even going into that, because that, that would be another video. But the point is, it's funny how some dude can say to me, I'm a sellout, or I'm an Uncle Tom, because, you know, I sound educated, I don't slur my words, I don't wear my pants off my ass, and I depict myself as, as being a universal person. Why do you want to be this person that can only get along with a certain race? Money is green, so in my opinion, you know, why would you, you know, anti-socialize yourself from being able to interact and communicate with all walks of life? But, you know, I've lived in the hood, and I know what it means to be black. Uh, you gotta have the fresh fucking Nikes every time they fucking come out. You have to be into the uh, basketball games when the playoffs come on or the football games when they're played. Uh, you know, it, it, it's almost like some fucking code if you don't wear your pants off your ass or not in a game. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm generalizing. I'm not saying that this is all black people. But at the same time, when I hear somebody tell me I'm a sellout or... You know, uh, can you still be down for the cause if you're married to a white woman? Well, first of all, where's the cause? And uh, I didn't know the qualifications meant that everything about you had to be black. That kills me. I even got a few things here that I, I want to talk about so I can make sure I'm not rambling. Are you a sellout for dating out of your race? Talk about 
uh, you know, I told you, you know, some of the issues that happened in the group, and I even started noticing that the administrator was a black dude, you know, and that's cool. I get along with everybody, but at the same time, if you say something stupid, I'm not afraid to just tell it like it is. But I'm starting to understand that when you're black, it, not only are you supposed to keep it real, but at the same time, even if a black person is wrong, you're supposed to agree that they're right because we're black. It's kind of like saying, you know O.J. was innocent and Michael Jackson was innocent. Why? Because they were black. Well, I'm here to tell you the motherfuckers were guilty. I liked Michael Jackson. I liked O.J. But the fact is, just because you're black doesn't mean that you don't make mistakes and don't do bad shit just like anybody else. And the sad reality is these groups like the Nation of Islam and Louis Farrakhan, yes, they're doing a good job in helping our brothers and sisters, you know, be educated and think differently than what they've done before. But all they do is reinforce it with the same bigotry that they call themselves trying to uh, be against when it comes to, to the Ku Klux Klan and white people. You know, I'm supposed to tell my child, oh, you can't play with that white boy because he's a blue-eyed devil. Does that make any sense? But yet, you'd be amazed at the people who celebrate and, you know, have no problem with that kind of crap. I talked to a dude today, pretty nice dude, real intelligent, and I felt sorry for him because he said to me, he said, yeah, man, what you don't understand is my wife is white. And I said, what? Because he called me, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, the group situation got so deep, this dude even felt the need to call me. I appreciate that. But why is it that the black dude could call me at home on the phone but he and, and tell me that I was right about some of the things I said, but he wouldn't say it in front of the group members on the group? And it, and it just goes to show you that some people are so afraid that they're not going to be counted black anymore that even when they know that their people are wrong, they won't stand up and do anything about it. It, it goes all again. It, it goes all the way back into that shit about not snitching. You say don't snitch, but at the same time, are you telling me you want to live in a neighborhood where you're infested with dope and prostitutes? Does that make any sense? But you say don't snitch. See, I mean, I feel like we got so much internal conflict within our brothers and sisters from light skin to dark skin how dare we sit up here and, and, and talk all this bullshit about white people and especially about what a brother dates uh, all these sisters that come to me what is it with that bullshit uh, you, you black dudes can't handle no strong black woman that's why y'all go get white women okay strong now it's strong in speech was damn sure got that, but it's strong having three or four kids by five different baby daddies, and you never once thought that you should maybe make one of these dudes uh, make a uh, honest woman of you, but you're strong. But see, now I know most of the black women and most of the black dudes are going to get on my little video and call me a sellout and call me an Uncle Tom, and that's fine. This is merely my opinion. See, that's the difference in me and other people. I'm not saying this is truth. This is just my opinion. What's that other one? I'm an Uncle Tom. Now, first of all, I ain't never lived in no plantation. So this Uncle Tom complex, you know, I don't remember ever fucking somebody uh, out of their job uh, and then smile in their face and be, yeah, you my nigga. You know, us black folks got to look out for each other while you the main one up in the boss's face snitching on me for being late on my break. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only person who's been through this type of situation. But then again, we're supposed to be united. So miss me with that bullshit. What's that other one? Are blacks right even when they're wrong? No. When the blacks are wrong, they're just simply wrong. Now, there's some people out there that seem to think the opposite, but, but I'm going to tell you what irks me more than anything. I can't stand them brothers who be in these groups or be on Facebook, and you can just tell by looking at them that they ain't never been too lucky with the ladies. They're not the biggest go-getter out there. But when they're in these, these computer rooms and shit, you know, everybody ain't paying attention to how you look and all that shit. They're basically going by what you say and what you type. And I've noticed how 
these are the dudes who really get off on chicks hitting like and laughing out loud and you told them there, you know, and, and it's ironic because a couple of likes, these little pussy ass dudes, they just get oh my lord, I mean you would think they was a celebrity just because they got a couple of likes on Facebook. Go to talking smack, uh up there Man, you shouldn't talk to her like that, man. That's not right. And then don't let the girl say, Thank you, Tony, for doing that for me. Oh my god. I mean you would you would think these brothers have never had a girl before. You know what I'm saying? But that's the next girl. What's the plan? Black men who are light-skinned who marry very dark sisters. Now, I had to bring this up because I, I find it ironic. The whole, the, the whole reason why I got kicked out of this group, I mean, I take full responsibilities for my actions. Even my boy Dewan De, uh, kind of showed me how people could have taken me the wrong way, and I understand that. I don't agree with his comment, and I am no disrespect to you, brother. But his comment was, white folks don't need nobody to defend them. Now, I didn't feel like I was defending white folks. I felt like I was defending my wife. I felt like I was defending what was right, period. Because if I'm a Christian, and I call myself a Christian, and I'm supposed to treat others like I want to be treated, I damn sure can't say it's based on color. But also, there was this other cat I met in there. He had the weirdest name. His name was Royal Stewart. And he he was so light, he could have been a banana. He had the darkest sister you would ever imagine. And that's fine. I don't care. But he was the one that gave me the most adversity, the hardest time, the most ugliest comments, dogged out my wife. And I even asked him, I said, dude, what did I ever do to you? I mean, what is it about me that, that you on my job like that that you so worried about who I date? He never really gave me no explanation, but it, it, it's funny because it, you can tell that obviously his skin tone has always been in question. People probably come up to him and say, hey, are you mixed or are you completely white or are you albino? But either way, it's almost as if by him picking on me, and by him marrying a very dark complexed sister, maybe that's supposed to make up for the fact that he's not, you know, dark complexed. I don't know, but I'm starting to realize, especially on social networks, that people got some serious issues, even jealousy. I, I think the administrator of this group literally just got jealous because people was actually digging what I was saying. But on that note. Just like, for instance, even like the sisters who date white men. Now, nobody ever says anything when these sisters literally, not only do they not say hello, but they don't give us the time of day. But you ain't got nobody on Facebook be all bent out of shape about that shit. But let a brother say that he don't date a sister because they, they don't shave their armpits or their vagina, and you swear for God in heaven that that, that that was the most low-down thing you could ever imagine. But, you know, my point is, why not just let people love who they're going to love? You worry about who you want to date. If you don't like white women, then don't date them. But don't hate on the nigga who, who obviously ain't got a problem with dating them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what is that about? So, peace to y'all. And for all the people who are in an interracial relationship, remember, you have to love the root as well as the fruit. Peace.